Little tree, little silent Christmas tree. You are so little, you are more like a flower. We, who found you in the green forest and were you very sorry to come away? See, I will comfort you because you smell so sweetly. I will kiss your cool bark and hug you safe and tight, just as your mother would. Only don't be afraid. Look, the spangles that sleep all the year in a dark box, dreaming of being taken out and allowed to shine. The balls, the chains, red and gold, the fluffy threads. Put your little arms, put up your little arms and I'll give them all to you to hold. Every finger shall have its ring and there won't be a single place dark or unhappy. Then when you're quite dressed, you'll stand in the window for everyone to see and how they'll stare. Oh, but you'll be very proud. And my little sister and I will take hands and look up at our beautiful tree. We'll dance and sing Noel, Noel. Thank you. 
The holiest of holidays are those kept by ourselves in the silence and apart, the secret anniversaries of the heart. When the full river of feeling overflows, the happy day unclouded to their close, the sudden joys that out of the darkness start, as flames from ashes, swift desires that dart, like swallows singing down each wind that blows, white as the gleam of receding sail, white as the cloud that floats and fades in the air, white as the whitest lily on a stream, these tender memories are a fairy tale of some enchanted land we know not where, but lovely as a landscape in a dream. Thank you. 
celebration that lasts for eight days and commemorates the victory of the Maccabees over the Syrian king Antiochus in 165 BC. Upon their victory, the Maccabees set out on an eight-day dedication at the temple. As the story is told, only one jar of pure oil was found to light the flame of Thanksgiving. Such a small amount normally would only have provided light for one day. However, the flame burned brightly for eight days and nights until more oil could be prepared. This was regarded as a miracle by the Jews, and today the festival of Hanukkah celebrates this miracle. We give because someone gave to us. We give because nobody gave to us. We give because giving has changed us. We give because giving could have changed us. We have been better for it. We have been wounded by it. Giving has many faces. It is loud and quiet, big though small, diamond and wood nails. Its story is old, the plot worn in the pages too. But we read this book anyway, over again. Giving is first and every time, hand to hand. Mine to yours, yours to mine. You gave me blue and I gave you yellow. Together we are simple grain, you gave me. 
what you did not have and I gave you what I d what I had to give together we made something greater from the difference Will you take your little trunk, brother, bring your five and come when we play the five and drum? To the little pat a pat a pan, when we play the five and drum, let us shout very joyful. Like the man of olden days with the king of kings. I salute you. I am your friend, and my love for you goes deep. There is nothing I can give you which you have not, but there is much, very much, that while I cannot give it, you can take. No heaven can come to us unless our hearts find it, rest in it today. Take heaven. No peace lies in the future which is not hidden. In this present little instant, take peace. The gloom of the world is but a shadow. Behind it, yet within our reach, is joy. There is radiance and glory in darkness. Could we but see, and to see, we have only to look. I beseech you to look. Life is so generous a giver, but we, judging its gifts by their g covering, cast them away as ugly or heavy or hard. Remove the covering, and you will find it beneath it a living splendor, woven of love by wisdom with power. Welcome it.
grasp it, and you touch the angel's hand that brings it to you. Everything we call a trial, a, sow a sorrow, or a duty, believe me, that angel's hand is there. The gift is there, and the wonder of an overshadowing presence. Your joys, too, be not content with them as joys. They, too, conceal diviner gifts. Life is so full of meaning and purpose, so full of beauty beneath its covering, that you will find earth but cloaks your heaven. Courage, then, to claim it. That is all, but courage you have, and the knowledge that we are pilgrims together, wending through unknown country home. And so, at this time, I greet you, not quite as the world sends greetings, but with profound esteem, and with a prayer that for you, for you now and forever, the day breaks and the shadows flee away.